I'd like you to meet my cat, Wibbles. She's a ragdoll, which is one of the larger breeds. They can easily reach 20 pounds or more. Wibbles here is 15 pounds. When we got her as a kitten, this cat tree worked out really well, but by the time she was full grown, as you can see, her rear end was just hanging off the platforms. I'd like to tell you about how we designed and built the ultimate cat wall for Wibbles. For the design phase, we started by identifying a wall in our great room that would work well, and then we started to sketch out some options. The wall we had in mind presented some unique opportunities to get creative. First, we designed a shelf high up that would wrap around the corner so that she could look out over the room while I work at my desk. We also planned for another high corner shelf that would extend to the window giving her a terrific view outside into the backyard. We included a pole in our design for scratching and it also connects to the shelf that extends to the window. And at the bottom of the pole, we planned for a small supporting shelf. Next, we planned for three medium-sized shelves to serve as a pathway to get down or to use as a viewing platform for the fish tank. Once our design was finalized, we made a list of all the parts we would need to complete the job. These are the major items we purchased to build the cat wall. We chose MDF wood for the shelves because it's smooth and easy to work with. We bought ABS pipe for the pole. We bought thick sisal rope to wrap around the pole. We bought an industrial adhesive to secure the rope to the pole and to attach the cork to the shelves. We bought six inch brackets similar to these. We bought cork to cover the top of the shelves. Once we had all the parts, we were ready to get to work on the build. We started by making cardboard templates for the two wraparound shelves, which were the most complex to cut. We cut all the wood and sanded the edges of the shelves to smooth them out. Then we applied a couple of coats of white paint. We used the adhesive to attach the rope to the pole and the cork to the top of the shelves. We located studs to screw into because as a heavy cat, Wibbles would need that extra support. We used a level to make sure the shelves were perfectly straight and screwed them into place. The reason we put cork on the shelves was to provide a grippable surface when jumping from shelf to shelf. We covered part of the window shelf in sisal rope this makes it easy for Bwibbles to sink her claws into it and pull herself up when transitioning from the pole to the shelf. We installed a bird feeder on the opposite side of the window so that it would attract birds to keep her entertained. Finally, we placed a matching strip of cork on the floor beneath the cat wall for her water fountain and her food dish. thrilled with the results, but more importantly, Wibbles loves her cat wall. She uses it all the time for lounging, sleeping, playing, you name it. You can see for yourself just how much she enjoys it.